Welcome to CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we're looking at the technical drawing fundamentals and specifically, we'll be looking at quadrilaterals. So we thank you for joining us. And in the previous video, we looked at the construction of the hypocycloid. And in the video before that, we looked at the epicycloid. So perhaps you could visit those videos after you've completed watching this one. In the next video, we'll be looking at the basic constructions that are required for technical drawing. We thank you for joining us and we'll be starting the video now. Welcome to the channel called Cadet Mr. Hugh. We aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online and we thank you for joining us today. Now, we are looking at quadrilaterals um, in today's video. And in the previous video, we looked at the construction of an ellipse and the tangent and normal to this um, ellipse. So perhaps you could visit the video after you have finished watching this one. All right, so let us start the drawing now. So we'll be drawing the square, given the length of the side. So we're gonna go to our construction layer. And we're gonna draw a base, a line. We're going to turn on snap. We're going to turn on ortho. We're drawing the square. We're looking at um, quadrilaterals and we're drawing the square. So we're going to go line. This point, and we're going to go 60 millimeters. Press enter. We're going to construct a 90 degree. Let us label these two points um, A and B. So we're going to come down to our text layer. We're going to select single line text. And we're going to label here. We're going to turn off snap. And we're going to choose a point right here as a starting point. The height, we're going to make it 8 millimeters. Rotational angle 0. And this point would be. A. This point would be B. All right. We're going to move it down a little bit. It's a little bit too high, so we're going to move. So select the two objects. Enter. Click our base point. I'm going to move it down right there. All right, good. What we're going to do now, we're going to draw an arc. We're going to construct a 90 degree at A. So we're going to draw an arc. So we're going to go back to our construction layer we're going to go to arc start center end and we're going to click here as a start the arc we're going to specify it as 15 millimeters enter and we're going to mark the arc going around all right we're going to repeat the process we're going to draw another arc so we're going to go center It will be 15 as a radius, same radius as before. We're going to turn off um, ortho. I want the arc right there. Enter. We're going to mark another arc. What we want to do, we're going to e draw extension line from A coming over, right? So we're going to go line. From here, coming over to there. Enter. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw an arc from here. And the radius again will be 15. Good. We're going to mark another arc from where these two arcs intersect the semicircle. All right. So we're going to go start center and the center will be here. The radius will be 15. And then mark an arc like that, enter. I'm gonna come back again. So what we're doing, we're actually constructing a 90 degree at the end of the line, right? I'm gonna click there, radius 15. This, where these two arcs intersect, the line drawn to the point A, that is 90 degrees. So we're gonna go from A to the intersection, enter. That line would be, 90 degrees, all right? So remember, we are constructing the 
square. And the first step is to construct a perpendicular at E. All right, so what we're going to do now, we have the perpendicular. What we're going to do, we're going to actually extend the line beyond the intersection, okay? So we're going to click on the line, grab here the grip, and going to pull it up um, all the way up there. All right, that's a construction line, all right? Now the next step is to put your compass. So I'm going to go start, center, and compass at A. Radius B, I'm going to mark an arc coming up, okay? So this point would be C, all right? No, this point will be D. So I'm going to go to my text layer. I'm going to go to single line text. And right here, I'm going to choose, um, here is my start point. And I'm going to la label the height, I'm going to make it 8, so I press enter, rotational angle 0. So this will be D. All right? All right, so from D, I'm going to mark an arc the same radius um, of the length. The property of a square, all sides are, are equal. So if A, B is um, 60, the arc that I'm going to draw now from D, the arc would be 60. So we're going to come here. Center start in, the radius would be 60 because that's the length of a side. I come like this. I'm going to do the same process from B. So we have center start in, this would be 60. Enter. Enter. Where those two arcs intersect, that is it. Square. So let us draw it now. So can I shift it over a little bit? We're gonna draw a construction line now. So um, these lines should be on the construction line. All right. So let's put on put them on the construction layer. Good. Now we're gonna go to our construction layer. We're gonna draw a line from here to there to there. And uh, this would be our square, all right? So let us put these lines now on the outline layer. Drop down here, outline. And there is our square. Uh, what is happening here? Oh, this line, we'll have to trim it, all right? This line was our construction line, so we're going to go to this trim here. Enter. All right. So let us um label it now. So can make this a little bit smaller. So we can label it. We can go to text. We can go to multi-line text. And we can label starting here, there, and we're gonna label it now. Um the height I'm gonna make the height is um six millimeters. All right, so we we'll say two construct a square given the length of this side all right so this is it we can actually make the the letters um four millimeters let's make them four all right so this is our first drawing the constructor square given the length of the side all right so good job if you follow the law all right so we are going to label this corner E C. So we're going to go to single line text. I'm going to click here. Um, the height going to be 8. Rotational angle 0. Capital letters E. All right. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to come down to here. 
And we are going to add, so full stop. And we're going to write A, B equals to 60 mil, sorry, millimeter. Mi, small, small common name, millimeters, all right? And this would have completed our construction of the square drawing, all right? So good job if you follow that up. All right, the next um, quadrilateral that we'll be doing is the construction of a square given the diagonal. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. The next drawing that we're going to do we're going to draw multi-line text first, and we're going to choose snap, turn on, snap, and we're going to come here, right? Or the height, we're going to make it four millimeters. So we come up here and we change it to four. All right, so we're going to label capital letters to construct a square. given the diagonal. So the diagonal, the, the diagonal, equals 70 millimeters, okay? Okay, the first thing we're gonna draw is our diagonal AC. So we're gonna go up to our construction layer, we're gonna change this to construction, all right? Then we're gonna draw a line to represent 70 millimeters. So we're gonna click here, we're gonna click there, and we're gonna draw a line 70 millimeters, enter, all right? The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bisect this line. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna label it so you can follow along. So single line text, to change our text layer, we're gonna go single line text. We're gonna turn off the snap. And the height, we're gonna make it at eight, rotation angle zero, and this would be A. Capital letters A. This would be C. All right. Um, we're gonna move the C down a bit so it is in line with the A. E. All right. So we're gonna come down about there. Good. All right. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna bisect the line AC. Okay. So radius um, greater than half the length of the line, we're gonna draw an arc above and below. So we're gonna come here, center, we're gonna mark an arc. The line is 70 millimeters long, so greater than half, half would be 35. So a radius, a distance greater than um, 35 could be 45 millimeters. So we're gonna draw an arc there. Gonna come here again. Come here. And we're gonna mark 45. Enter. Good. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right. So we're gonna go arc, center at C, radius 45. Enter. There it is. We're gonna do the same thing from C, but above the line. So we're gonna come here, center, start, end. What we're doing, we're bisecting the line AC. So we'll go 45, enter, good. Where those two arcs um, intersect, both above and below the line, when you draw A, this should be construction. When you draw a line from the 
to the intersection. So we draw a line from the intersection to the next intersection. This line is a bisector, all right? So we can actually extend it a little bit beyond the intersection. That's how a bisector is drawn. All right, so what we did, we bisected the line AC. All right, the next, so this point where the bisector intersect the line AC, that would be O. So we're gonna go to our text layer. And we're gonna go single line text. And we're gonna leave it right here. O. So height, eight, rotational angle zero. We're gonna label this as O. Enter. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move it down. So we're gonna go move. All right, good. Now, where the perpendicular, which is this line, intersect the line AC, right? That is the intersection of this, of the point O and the circle drawn from O radius A, that would be the radius for the circle. So we can actually go now circle. Uh, we need to turn on object snap. So center, to pick up the center, the radius would be at A, right? Now, where the bisector intersect the, the circle, this would be the corner for the circle. So we can actually extend this a little bit. Can extend the bisector. Right, so where the bisector intersect the circle, that would give us D and B. So let us label that. So we're on a text layer, so we're gonna single line text. Right, we're gonna turn off objects now. And we're gonna click. So we're gonna go single line, we're gonna go to text layer. We're gonna go to single line text, so I'm gonna choose right here. And this point would be B. This point would be B, all right? This point down here would be D, all right? So where the bisector intersect the circle, the, those are the points for the square. So we join, we need to turn on object snap to pick up the intersection. So there, to there, to there, to there, to there, enter. This is a required square, right? So we can actually put the square now on the construction, the outline layer, right? This will be the required square given the diagonal, okay? All right, so we have completed this one. So good job if you got it correct. We have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at the construction of a square given the diagonal. And in today's video, the length of the diagonal was 70 millimeters. In the next video, we'll be looking at the first angle projection. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please stay here until we meet again. And at CAD with you, we aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online. And we truly thank you for joining us. So take care until we meet again. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. The next quadrilateral that we'll be constructing is a rectangle given the length of the diagonal and one of the sides, all right? So the we're going to actually label, um, start it all this. So we're going to multi-line text, we're going to turn on snap, and we're going to choose right there. All right, so we're going to label, we're going to make it four millimeters tall.
All right, so we're going to label it now to construct a rectangle given the length of the diagonal and one of the sides, okay? The diagonal is equal to ninety millimeters and one of the sides is thirty five millimeters all right so this is what we'll be doing now good all right we're going to make this a little bit um longer so that we can have more space when we're drawing all right so we're going to click here i'm going to stretch it right see click there we're going to move the word all right all right good we're going to carry this up back space, good space. All right, so we have a little bit more space. All right, so we're going to now move this down. All right, so the first thing we're going to draw is a diagonal. So the diagonal for today's video is 90 millimeters. So we'll be drawing the 90 millimeters. So we're going to go to our construction layer. I'm going to draw a line from there, 90 millimeters, enter. All right, so this is our line, 90 millimeters. Now we're going to label it. So we're going to go to our text layer. I'm going to go to single line text. And this, we're going to turn off snap. I'm going to come here, and this will be B. Enter, enter, this would be B. This point over here would be D. All right, so let's move the D down so that it is in line with B. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to bisect the line. We're going to bisect the line BD. So we're going to come here. We're going to go to our construction layer. We're going to drop down this arc. We're going to go center. The line is 90 millimeters, so halfway. 90 millimeters will be 45. So we're going to draw an arc 60 millimeters. But as long as it is greater than half. So we go like that. We're going to come again. Center start end. Click here. We're going to go 60 millimeters. We're going to mark an arc just like that. We're going to do the same thing below. Radius. We're using the same radius. 60 millimeters. So we'll click there. 60. Enter. And we draw an arc. We're going to do the same thing from the other side. Center. 60, mark an arc, enter, mark an arc. Where two arcs intersect, that's a bisector. All right? So we draw a line from this intersection coming down, enter. We extend the line beyond the intersecting arcs. And this is our bisector, all right? So good job if you followed along.
So this is a basic thing. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a circle. This will be O, let us label this intersection O. So we've got text layer, single line text, and we click here. This point would be O. Right, so O, let us move it a little bit closer. So we're gonna move the O, enter. We're gonna turn off objects now. I'm gonna click there. We're gonna draw a circle. We well, need to turn on object snap to pick up the intersection right there. Radius at B, that is the next step. The next step from B, we're gonna draw an arc equal to the length of the side, which is 35 millimeters. So from, from B, we're gonna mark an arc from B, 35 millimeters, right? Where that arc intersect the circle that is C. So let us label that point C. So text layer, single line text. We're gonna turn off object snap. We're gonna select this as a star point, eight, zero. So this will be C. All right, let us move the C a little bit away from, um, a bit from the circle. So we'll click there. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing at, at D, but we're doing it um, below D. So we're gonna go center start end. So you need to turn on object snap by clicking this button down there. You click there, this radius will be 35 because the length of the side is 35 and there it is. Where this arc intersect the circle, that would be D. So let us go single line text. I'm gonna turn off object snap. I'm gonna click right here. And this would be A. All right. We're gonna move it um, away from the arc. So we click there, there. All right, so the line, we're gonna to go to our construction layer. The line drawn from, turn on object snap. The line drawn from B to A to D to C to B. All right, that intersection is not accurate. So we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the line to A and then delete um, the first line that we drew at AB. So we'll come down here, click there, enter. So we're gonna delete this line. This line is not accurate. All right, so we come back. And what we're gonna do now, we're going to put these, four lines that represent the rectangle on the outline layer, and it will be the completed drawing, all right? So this is our rectangle, construction of a rectangle given the diagonal and the length of a square. Good job if you got it correct. We have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at the construction of a rectangle given the diagonal and the length of a side. Now, we thank you for joining us at CAD with Mr. Hugh. We aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online. And in the next video, we'll be looking at the construction of circles. So we look forward to having you in the next drawing. Please take care until we meet again. Bye. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Welcome to CAD with Mr. Hugh. It's a YouTube channel whereby we aim to become your favorite 
AutoCAD resource online and we thank you for joining us. In today's video, we're looking at the construction of a parallelogram. Specifically, we're given the length of the two sides and an included angle. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're in our construction here, we're gonna draw a line. We're gonna turn on ortho. So we're gonna draw a line here and the length of the line is 80 millimeters, enter. We're gonna label this line so you can follow along. So we're gonna label, we're gonna go to a single line um, text. We're gonna turn off. Now, this would be A. So the height will be eight. Rotational angle will be zero. We're gonna put caps, all caps. So this is A and this is B, okay? All right, the next step is to construct an angle, the given angle at A. I'm gonna give A, I'm gonna move A. And we're gonna move B too, so that it is in, in line. All right, so at A, we're gonna construct the 60 degree angle, all right? So we're gonna come and we're gonna go arc, three point arc, start, center, end. So we need to turn on object snap by enabling this button. We're gonna click there, that will be the center and we want the radius to be 20 millimeters. So we're gonna go, we need to turn off ortho. Right, there is our line. Then where the arc intersects the baseline AB, we're gonna draw another arc. So we're gonna go to center, start, end. At this point, we're going to mark an arc which is equal to the pre radius is equal to the previous um, radius that we drew the first arc. So that it would be 20. And here it is. Where it was, where the arc intersects the previous arc, a line drawn from A that will give you 60 degrees. So I go from A to the intersection, enter. That line would be the 60 degree angle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this line, okay? So I click on here and I draw it out. All right? Now, we can actually check the angle, you know. So we're going to check the angle. So we're going to go angular and we're going to click this line, this line, and you see that it is 60 degree right there, okay? We're going to move this a little bit closer. So this is a construction of a 60 degree angle. What we're gonna do now, we're going to mark off the distance along the line, this line A, this line to give you AD, right? So AD is 35 millimeters. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come here, we're gonna go arc. If you have a compass, you would put it at A. The radius will be 35 millimeters, enter, and this will be the arc, okay? Where this arc intersect the 60 degree line, that is D. So let us go to single line text. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna turn off object snap, and we're gonna put it right here to, to represent D. So this will be D. All right, we're gonna move it um, so that it is, the letter is not resting on the line or in contact with the line, so I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so this point is D. What we're gonna do now, from B, we're gonna scribe an arc which is equal to the length of the shorter side, which is 35 millimeters, all right? So we're gonna put our compass at B, so we're gonna go center, start, end. So we're gonna turn on object snap. 
by enabling that button. This, so you would put your compass at B and you would mark an arc equal to 35 millimeters because that is the length of um, AD. Then from D, we're going to mark an arc which is equal to the length of AB, which is 80. So we're going to go 80. Where the two arcs intersect, that is a parallelogram that is required. So we're going to draw straight lines from D to this intersection. And I need to um label C so we can follow. So here we're going to turn off object snap. And the height would be eight millimeters, the rotational angles would be zero, and this would be C. So what we're doing, we're drawing straight lines um, from D to C and B to C. So we're gonna go line from B to C. We need to turn on objects now. So let us go again. Line from B to C, enter. And this would be the required um, parallelogram. So let us put, um, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break. So I select this, select there. All right, so let us put these lines now on the outline layer, okay? So put it on the, so if you have a three H pencil you, or two H pencil, you would darken it and this would be the required parallel, parallelogram. I wanna maintain this construction line, so I'm gonna extend it. I'm gonna use the extend command and I'm gonna extend this to indicate. All right, that's a construction. So I'm maintaining my construction lines. All right, so let us um, label it now. So it is text, go to my text layer. I'm gonna go multi-line text and I'm going to go from there to there, right? So the height, I'm gonna make the height four millimeters. So we're gonna type four. All right, so this is to construct a parallelogram given an angle and two sides, all right? So we can say AB is equal to 880 millimeters BC so we're gonna put a comma here comma BC is equal to 35 millimeter and angle B AD is equal to 60 degrees. All right. Okay, so let's, um, so this is this. So what we can do, we can actually, right. So this is our, 
we complete the drawing for today's class. So in today's video, we looked at the construction of a parallelogram given an angle and the two sides. Good job if you got yours looking splendid, as it always is. In the next video, we'll be looking at the construction of a rhombus. So we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Please stay care until we meet again. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Welcome to CAD with Mr. Hugh. It's a YouTube channel, and on this channel, we hope to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online. In today's video, we'll be looking at the construction of a rhombus given the diagonal and the length of the sides. Now, in the previous video, we looked at the construction of a parallelogram given the length of the sides and an included angle. So, we'll be starting the video now. The first thing we're going to draw is the diagonal, okay? But um, let us um, go to the text layer. We're going to go to multi-line text. And we're going to start right here. And we're going to label the height. We're going to make the height 4 millimeters. So we're going to come down here and we're going to write 2. Construct a rhombus given the diagonal and its and the sides. All right, so the diagonal, so the diagonal is ninety millimeters and the side is sixty millimeters. I'm gonna draw a line ninety millimeters long. Line ninety. Enter. Then we're gonna label. Single line text, we're going to label these two points A and C. We're going to turn off snap. So the height would be 8. Rotational angle 0. And this would be A. And this would be C. We're going to move down to C. So it is in line with the A. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna draw an arc from A that is equal to the length of the side. The length of the side is 60 millimeters. So we're gonna mark an arc from A, 60 millimeters. All right, we're gonna mark the arc also from C. So it will be 60. Right, we're gonna do the same thing below. All right, so start center end that's the command we're using. Send that A, the radius would be 60. We're gonna do the same thing at C, start center end, so center is there, the start is here 60. Where the two arcs intersect, that would be. B and D. So let us label that. Single line text. We're going to turn off object snap. 
All right, here would be B. This would be B. We're gonna come down here and this would be D. All right, we're gonna move the D away from the construction for clarity. So we're gonna go move. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna draw straight lines from, we're gonna turn on object snap. So from here to the intersection there, back to C, to the intersection at D, back to A, enter. This is a rhombus given the diagonal, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna select the lines for the rhombus, and we're gonna put them on the outline layer so that they become dark. So if you are using the traditional instruments, you would use a 3H or 4H pencil to darken it. All right, so this is our rhombus giving the diagonal on the sides. All right, so in the next video, in the next drawing, we will drawing the trapezium, given the length of the parallel sides and the perpendicular distance between them and one angle. So please join us in that video. Welcome to CAD with Mr. Hugh. We aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online and we thank you for joining us. In today's video, we're looking at the construction of the trapezium. And in the previous video, we looked at the construction of the parallelogram, so perhaps you can visit that video after we're finished watching this one. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually going to write the instruction that we will be doing, all right? So we're gonna go to uh, multi-line text, and we're gonna choose right here, right there, and we're gonna make the height of the letters, we're gonna make them four millimeters. All right, so we're gonna label now. All right, so this is what you'll be um, drawing today. So the first thing we're gonna draw is the baseline AB for the trapezium. So we're gonna go to our construction layer. And we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna turn on ortho and we're gonna draw a line 90 millimeters long, all right? So from here, gonna draw a line 90 millimeters. Enter. Now what we want now is uh the vertical height between this, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna label before we draw the vertical line. So we're gonna go single line text and we're gonna turn off snap and we're gonna start right here. This would be A, this would be B, as easy as that, all right? So the next thing that we're gonna do now we're gonna get the vertical height, right? So we need a vertical height between this measurement here. So let's put it in now. So comma, the height, the vertical, height equals 45 millimeter, all right? All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna draw two arcs equal to the vertical height, which is 45 millimeters, all right? So we're gonna go to our arc, Center start end, and we're gonna, gonna turn is object. Yes, it's on. You can turn on snap if you want. So this point, we're gonna draw an arc 45 millimeters. So we're gonna come there. We need to turn off um ortho. 
code. We're going to do the same thing at B. So we're going to go to center start end. So center there, 45 millimeters, enter. I'm going to draw the arc right there. All right. What we're going to do now, we're going to draw a line that is tangential to these two arcs. So we're going to go line. We need to turn off the snap. All right, so that's a quadrant. That's a quadrant to press enter. What we're gonna do, we're gonna extend this line, all right? So we're gonna extend it to the right. We're gonna extend it to the left. So this is how you would draw a parallel line. If you want to check if it is parallel, you would actually come here, center start in at the middle of the line, which is there, 45 millimeters. And you would mark an arc, and that is how you would check if it is parallel. Okay, so this will be the complete construction to draw a parallel line. All right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw a constructor 60 degree angle at A. So, what we're going to do, we're going to draw a line, construction line to the left of A, so we can draw a semicircle. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to change our construction layer, we're going to draw an arc, center end, centers there at A. The radius is 15, and we're going to mark this radius come right around like that. What we're going to do, we're going to draw another arc with the radius equal to 15 from the intersection where the arc intersect the line AB. We're going to mark another arc. So the center would be at the intersection. We need to turn our snap. This radius would be 15. So we'll come here and mark that. All right. The line drawn from A going through the intersection here that is 60 degrees, all right? So the line from here to there, that's 60, enter. And what we can do is use the extension command, the extend command to extend the line. There it is, there it is, there it is, good. Now we can actually measure the the angle to prove that it is 60. So we're gonna come like this. There it is, it's 60 degrees, see, 60. All right, the next thing we're gonna do now, we're going to, we're going to mark distance for the other parallel. So the, well, 60, the, so let me label here. We need to label here so we can, oh, single line text, and we can label right. We're going to turn off um, object snap. I'm going to click right here. This would be D. This would be D. All right. Good. So from D, we're going to measure 60 millimeters from D going out there. So we're going to go Three point arc, start center end. So we're going to turn on object snap. We're going to come here. And we're going to mark the length would be 60. So we'll come here and mark it. Where this arc intersect the, um, the parallel line that we drew in step one, that would be C. So let us label that now single line text. Eight millimeters at the height. All right, so this would be C. The line drawn from C to B, that would be the line to form the last um, point on the trapezium. So we're going to go line from the intersection there. Going to come down to B. Enter, and this will be the line that is needed for the trapezium. So what we can actually do, we can select these lines. And what we need to do, we need to break um, this one. So we're going to go to modify, break, and we're going to break this line. So we're going to select the line to break. I'm going to select the breakpoint, which is there. All right, so we have broken that line. See, 
We're going to break this one now. So we'll go back to break. We're going to select the line, enter, and the break point would be right there, enter. So we click on the line, see it's one line. All right, so when we click on the line now, oh, that is a line by itself, D to C, rather than the horizontal line. We're going to put it on the outline, and this would be our completed drawing for the trapezium. So good job if you got it correct. In the next video, we'll be looking at the construction of circles given definite condition. So please join us in the next video. Thanks for joining us and please take care until we meet again. Bye. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment and share.